Hello and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson. Please do like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with people oops, who might like this video. And clean up your desk. No, you don't have to clean up your desk. So I have this wonderful messy desk in front of me and I have all these like, I don't know, stuff from all these different projects that I've been playing with and look at what I made. Isn't that cute? So this is all um, herringbone stitch and I tried to do the darker colors kind of first and then the light pale blue and the white on top. I just really like how it came out. Anyway, that's not what we're doing today. Um, I wanted to show you this book that I've been making, this journal, uh, Wicked Fun. Um, I just had all this stuff all over my desk, and I thought there are a lot of little pieces, like little pieces of paper and little prints of things and, and sketches for stuff I wanted to do and Da, 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 and it was all over the desk and I didn't want to throw it away because you know I liked this stuff and I thought let's just put it all in one book and you know now we've got this like alligator thing going on um alligator mouth anyway I thought I'd just sort of walk you through some of the pages just because it's been a lot of fun to put this together um, so the first thing was that I had a bunch of this, what I call manifesto paper. So I write a manifesto and then I, you know, cut and paste and fill an entire page. And this becomes kind of like book page paper, um, except I control the energy of the words on the page, which is just a fun concept for me. I like thinking about this kind of thing. Um, and yeah, it, it becomes because, because, you know, I straightened up the edges and, um, jammed it all together. Sometimes I use little five point font, you know, so it's really, really tiny. And sometimes I do it pretty big like this. And sometimes I use a sort of, well, it's not really cursive but it you know it's just a a font with more flourishes in it and sometimes I use sort of direct I think this is maybe Times New Roman I never use Times New Roman and it's got to be something else but you know it's close it has little serifs on it and it's like newspaper writing or something yeah so anyway, that was really fun. I've been doing all of these, um, they are called jelly, jelly prints. And I was working on this, uh, accordion book and I just decided to start using some of my papers, even though I really love them. And I wish there was a way to, that there is, um, I haven't figured it out yet but to copy all these pages and put them in a book so you guys are make them digital prints or something so you all could play with them i mean aren't they just lush gosh there's just layers of color you know the red and the dark blue and the pale blue and over here there's a cadmium orange and a sort of medium blue and a darker blue and there's some red in here too. Yeah, so it's just lots of different colors all mashed together in this very abstract crumpled paper kind of way. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I was playing with all of this and I had all these little bits of paper left over, you know, like this little chunk. Uh, am I showing this to you? Yes, right here. Um, so I just, you know, started just gluing stuff and you will recognize, uh, this woman who is 
studying something or looking at something. And I always think of this, um, this shape of sort of humanoid, but it's sort of not, I think of them as guardians. Um, so the words actually that are on this page are also these words. Hello, put beauty and enjoyment into the world or understanding indeed revel just worked out that this little snippet of paper kind of showed up and the and the words popped out see when you see the whole page you don't really get specific words but when i use it in collage only some of the words come out always took the time we needed to complete our wisdom and make new choices what if we knew, I like this a lot, that essentially we are full and complete and are only here to experiment with the power within ourselves and to feel love here on earth? What if? Wouldn't that be cool? And this is um, sort of a quote from um, Abraham Hicks. Uh, control, I think it's from her, them, Control my feelings, all other manifestation follows. Uh, Greg Braden sounds like this sometimes, but I think this specific thought conglomeration was um, Abraham Hicks. Um, yeah, so so there's this this thing in uh, the world of manifestations that if we if we just sort of pay attention to our feelings and by that is meant uh, our emotional feelings as well as, you know, our tactile feelings, our, our sensory um, impressions. So pay attention to what we see. You know, it's that old thing about if you think about red cars, then all of a sudden you start seeing red cars everywhere. If you think about, um, I don't know, uh, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Then you start seeing Mercedes Benzes all over the place. So that actually happened to me. It was very fun. Um, so, uh, you know, like put into our heads the thoughts about things that we would like to feel like I want to feel happy and then I start thinking well what in the world would make me feel happy and or would I feel happy about not that it would make me feel happy because what makes me feel happy doesn't make everybody so it's not intrinsic to the other thing it's intrinsic to me um yeah so if I want to feel happy just start you know, sort of thinking about, hmm, what would make me feel happy? Um, what would I feel happy about? You know, and then I start thinking, ooh, art galleries. I want to go visit art galleries. So that's on my list this week. Anyway, we kept going. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might recognize this piece of paper. I'm doing uh, Inktober. 2022 and where is that piece of paper I wanted I was fascinated by this pattern and I wanted to copy it so this was my uh, rendition of this paper just, just so <gasps> like clearly it's a mirror image they didn't draw like a whole page of this. They just drew some of it and it must go over here, but then it repeats, you know, they flipped it. Yeah, anyway, so I was focused on that. Here are some more jelly papers. Um, oh, and this came from, I was making, yes, here it is. Here it is. I was making postcards because I'm a member of a postcard group. And uh, there's the Sixth Sense. So what I did was I 
I typed it out in a couple of fonts in a couple of sizes that I liked and then I was able to choose the size that sort of worked so I put it on my light box and I copied the font and this is a bigger font so I still liked it it's kind of cool uh, so I used it here but I used it yeah this was one of the leftovers so I threw that in the book and this was the postcard that I sent out this month and I was cutting a bunch of I don't know, paper cuts and I don't know where the one that had this heart but there were some leftover hearts so I put those in and more I have a, a bunch of these manifesto papers now uh, lots of these little copies of um They were rubber stamps that I did last year in uh, Carve December, hashtag Carve December, that Julie Fafan Balzer does that's just lush. Um, it was really fun. I now have all these great stamps. This was some of the embroidery that I've been doing for, um, I want to make a journal on Amazon's KDP um program uh make making a book uh so this is actually for coloring you can actually color in the little spots so that's terrific all is well i think that came from a piece of um manifesto writing so the whole book is like this right so little little copies of the cards i don't know if i have one of those they're they're oh gosh they're so wonderful i have like pages full pages of all of these little cards and then i would make them bigger and make them smaller and la 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 lots of the jelly jelly papers lots of paper cuts um i was watching a youtube and she talked about elevating our energy and one of the things you can do to elevate our energy is to sing so I thought that was kind of fun and there's a woman this was a different video a woman who um she's like a music musician or music teacher I think she's a music teacher of some kind as well as being a musician and um she gets on YouTube and she says, did you ever want to just sing? It was a short or some or whatever. Um, and she said, do you ever want to sing in your house? But you're really afraid. And, you know, and it's so she starts playing this music of a, I can't remember the song, but um, and she just she sort of hums along. But she says, no, sing out loud, you know, have fun with this. So that seemed pretty cool. This is a rubber stamp I have somewhere in my collection. More cards, more words. And clearly, this book could take more lace, another guardian, more cards, more words, more paper cuts. Yeah, so it's just like on and on like this. This, uh... I really love how this postcard turned out and I had some extra copies that I'd been playing with yeah I love her um, we are the queen of our lives aren't we so there's a place for me to write stuff more manifesto paper and it just goes on and on um yeah so i'd kind of put the book together and i thought oh, i could have been inking all these papers and it sort of gives the book a sense of i don't know somehow sort of going together i inked a couple of things like this one which looks like i threw it on the floor and stepped on it a bunch of times but I didn't that's ink um check out this pattern isn't that cool this is this crumpled deli paper 
jelly print thing that I do. Um, yeah, so I, so I thought about, oh, I could have inked, and then I didn't. And I thought, what if I took colored pencils? And I just saw somebody else do this on YouTube, too. It's uh, Waste Some Time with Maggie, or something, which is hilarious, and it's very wonderful. So I just thought we could, I don't know, go through this and play a little. I don't know what I did with all my colors, so maybe we won't play. Oh, look, I made these two uh, little notebooks of, you know, off cuts when I would print something and then there was just a little edge of paper, you know, like an edge, like I needed this part of the paper, but I didn't need this. So I'd take this and make a book out of it. So these are little collages and there's some collages in the book too. There's another one and you can see I stapled this paper together because this paper that's right here is parchment paper and I love working with parchment when I'm like gluing on a big paper cut like this I can put the parchment paper over it and really rub the glue and the paper all down and get everything nice and flat um, and the glue doesn't stick to the shiny parchment paper which is great which is why I use it but when I'm making a collage it also means the glue is not going to stick very well to the parchment paper so I stapled those together and I think, oh yeah, I actually stapled them on to the front of the, of the book, the little notebook. So that was fun. Uh, yeah. So when I was thinking about, this is a tuck actually right there. And when I was thinking about, you know, sort of not really inking, but just making some color around. I was thinking, oh, well, I can just do this with a colored pencil. This is actually very tricky because the book is now sort of lumpy. So it's a little challenging to get all the way around. But this is what I did. You know, and I'll go all around all the papers. But then I thought, ooh, what if I, you know, doubled, tripled up on some colors? So I did that, and I think I used brown as well. Yeah. So just like that, and you know, when you look at this on the um, page and you look at this, this, I don't know, it just sort of says, oh, I'm special because I have color around me. So this is, uh, these are all Prismacolor. I really love Prismacolor. It's so worth the money. Um, not like you can't have fun with. Actually, Crayola is much less expensive and is not comparatively as, or, or um, there's a word for that. I don't know what it is, but, you know, you pay this much money for a Prismacolor and it's this good and you pay this much money for Crayola, but it's like this good, you know? So they're not bad crayons. They're, I mean, colored pencils. They're pretty good. Um, but anyway, this is Spanish orange, which I like a lot, but the one I like better doesn't seem to be, oh, here it is. It's this one. Uh, some, sun, 
sun yellow. I don't know. This one's an even better color. It's a little darker. It's a little, has a little more depth to it. And you can be pretty messy when you color in here. Uh, it's just wicked fun. And the red that I like, you know, I could buy a new red pencil. It's not this one. This one's very nice. Scarlet Lake. Uh, something Carmine. I don't know. I can't remember the name of the red. And it's now this little short stubby thing. Anyway, I had these. Yeah, this is Scarlet Lake again. I had these pencils when my kids were little. God has blessed them. And just a lot of stuff would end up on the floor. And when you drop these pencils, the the lead not only breaks at the end, but it goes break, 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 break all the way down the, pen, the pencil. And it sort of destroys the pencil because every time you sharpen it, it um, falls apart again. So that's a drag. And there are pencils that are great if you have kids in your life and you want to color with them and actually have some fun because the color comes out of the pencil pretty nicely. Uh, they used to be Lyra. They came out of Austria, I think. Um, and then the company changed. It got bought by somebody. But they're big pencils. They're like as big as your pinky finger. Um, or even your index finger. They're pretty big. Um and they have big thick leads in them, so when you drop them on the floor, they don't shatter. Uh, Lyra, L-Y-R-A. I can't remember. Somebody, somebody bought them. And I can't remember the name of the company. I think they're even American now. They, they're not... Like, they might have been bought by somebody in Germany or something, you know, and then they came across the pond and got bought by somebody here. Anyway, they're great. And they're uh, hexagonal, you know. They aren't circular. And so they're easy for little kids to grip, and they're a little thicker. But the color is great on them. And they don't shatter every time you look at them. I had two browns that I was using. One was a very dark. No. I don't know. Anyway, so you can kind of play with colors. This book has a lot of oranges and reds in it. Um, I'm actually finding lots of blue stuff that I didn't want to put in here. Uh, so I'm going to probably have to make another book with all my extra blue things. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And it's just wicked fun. Just so lush uh, to have a place for all kinds of stuff. Just all these little pieces of, you know, I'd use to paste a piece of the manifesto paper to put in something else. And then I had this half torn up manifesto paper. So I, I sort of tore it up to fit in the book. Yes, very fun. Strong like a woman. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So I have lots to do. Now a full page like this, I think I'll probably glue some other stuff on it. So I just wanted to show you this book is put together, you know, in a binding kind of way, in a, you know, pamphlet stitch um, kind of a way. The strings are on the inside. And you'll, I don't know if you can really see here if the shadows of the light are giving you enough information. But the first, the first signature got one, two, three holes, and the second signature got two holes, 
and the third signature got three holes. And I did that because the the depth of the binding, uh, the depth of the spine isn't terrific. And I just thought if I put three holes right next to each other, it would be a little bit like perforating your paper saying tear here. Um, and I didn't want that to happen. So I did that. And this is the back cover. I decided to cover it with. This is just cardstock and it wasn't that thick. So I thought, oh, I'll just cover it with lots of layers. All right, I have to be quiet now and let you all go play in your own, goodness, places. So I wish you, um, well, if this is a book where disparate parts come together in an somewhat organized way. I wish you um, organization for your disparate parts. May they make sense and be colorful and fun eventually. And I mean, if they aren't already. And uh, yeah, may all your disparate parts come together in a beautiful way. I will see you next time. Bye.